this is a toy trail and this is part of our mail call series. This here is a um, priority flat rate box. Generally I don't recommend using these because um, they ship at a five pound rate but um, they're I know for a fact that uh, this box was a good size for this horse, so that might have just been the best option that the seller had. And this one is not for sale. This one was, will be part of our personal collection. Um, this is a model that um, I personally made an offer on in the past. Not this exact model. This is an original finish model. I made an offer on um, the original finish one of these and whatever. I made an offer on one of these and then um, by the time that the offer came back the horse was already sold on eBay so that was a, a bit of a bummer and I've kind of dreamed about one since then. So this one was in a very substantial amount of packing popcorn. No good job seller. And then the horse itself is also in bubble wrap. Fantastic job. Now this is a classic scale horse. And I actually have another one of these to open in a different color, but I don't think I'll get around to doing that today. in another layer of bubble wrap without tape hooray okay so you know what this guy is he is the briar classic quarter horse stallion in the original palomino but what is awesomely special about this guy is he is a chalky a ch uh, chalky was produced during the oil crisis era uh, and some of them had a painted white base coat which on um, this one you can just barely see showing through on the bottoms of his hooves. Some of them were uh, referred to as chalky plastic, meaning that the plastic had a chalky look to it uh, and had been enhanced with white. So not all of them are base coated if they're chalkies. They can either be a uh, chalky plastic or a base coat chalky. This is a base coat chalky. And um, I've seen a couple of these come and go for sale since the one that I missed. And this one had what looked like really nice mold detailing. Um, so I pulled the trigger and I bought him, uh, and he will be part of our personal collection again, not for sale. I thought he had a really nice main detail. Um, you can see, uh, the wrinkles on his neck are still visible. He has good main detailing. He has good facial detailing. I wish I had, um, a non chalky version to show you, but the, uh, the chalky base coat really brings out the color and the detailing on this model. He's just really pretty. Here's his tail. You can see that the chalky color is showing through. So this is not bare plastic. This is a painted white. Same with his sock. Not bare plastic, but painted white. And he's got really nice neck wrinkles right here. Um, as is common with the older molds, he does have some rougher seams which I was aware of and I'm okay with. It's just how they were produced during that time period. Just out of curiosity, I was looking for a stamp, a briar mold stamp. I do not see a briar mold stamp, so he is not stamped with briar's um, stamp, uh, which mean, I think that was added in later years, um, which probably dates this guy as an earlier one. Uh, I know briar has not added the uh, mold stamp to all of their molds, so it's quite possible. This is one of those molds I'm just not familiar enough with the uh, briar molds to know which ones received the briar stamp and which ones did not. But this fellow does not have a briar stamp. Uh, he was originally adapted from the Hagen Reneker. Um, gosh, I can't remember his name, but he's really gorgeous and he looks very similar to this model. Um, briar lost the rights to use this mold um, for some time, but they seem to have been producing uh, these Maureen Love or Hagen Reneker molds in smaller quantities now so I'm wondering if they have regained the rights to use some of these molds or if they're perhaps reusing some of the blank bodies that they still have. But I just love this fellow. Um, he will probably never ever see the show ring and he'll just stand around looking pretty in my cabinet and I'm okay with that.
at last a chalky quarter horse stallion for me I hope you guys like him and I hope you guys can see the detailing um, that really comes out in his chalky color because it really is quite distinctly different from a, a non chalky version so this is the chalky classic quarter horse stallion from the family set Thanks for watching.